I'd like to welcome you back to the seduction workshop. The last video we covered the energy and the connectedness between us. In this video, we're going to talk about the mentality that you have to have because I understand completely that if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a partner in life, you've got to be able to be seductive. So in this video, I want to actually continue to talk about your inner game, your inner world. What's going on in between your ears is where you lay down all of the bricks and the stones of your yellow brick road. You have to consciously understand that in order to seduce anybody, you have to have a mentality of friendliness. A mentality of friendliness means that you are having a positive look at the world, that people see you as a positive person, because if you don't look at the world positively, ain't nobody wanna be around you, right? So you need to look at this life like it is a glass half full. Why wouldn't you look at this beautiful blessing of the life and the reality around you as a blessing every moment? And if you don't see that, that's where you begin. So what are the benefits of looking at life like it's a glass half full rather than a glass half empty? Well, let me tell you, it means that you're an optimist. It means that you think that things are possible. You like to think of the what ifs and the what ifs are so much better than the no, I can't. Wouldn't you agree? If you don't look at this life like it's a glass half full, then everyone around you will know that you are a negative person. Everyone around you will want to protect their dreams and their visions from you because they understand you are going to rain on the parade. You will create situations and scenarios of lacking, which is the opposite of abundance. So you understand about the mentality of friendliness and how important it is to look at life like it's a glass half full. But I want to go a little bit deeper along that train of thought and let you know that a mentality of friendliness is in perfect alignment with the golden rule. We've all heard of the golden rule, but so many people have it twisted up. Maybe in the Bible you read an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That is not the golden rule. The golden rule is to do unto others the things that you want them to do unto you. Don't be angry with somebody because they're angry with you. Don't steal from somebody because they steal from you. Don't lie to people because they lie to you. That is not the mentality of friendliness. That is not the golden rule. Now that we've clarified exactly what the golden rule is, I want you to know it is not always easy to follow. You know that. You know that you've been hurt by other people and you know you've had these thoughts of revenge and spitefulness. But that is not at all how you seduce. That is not at all how you create yourself a mentality of friendliness. Your mentality of friendliness is about remaining positive when negativity comes your way. And I can appreciate the fact that you are watching this video because you do not want to be in that circle of revenge and eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth scenario. You want to be able to seduce other people and to get what you want from this life. Now, in order to do that, you must abide by the golden rule very specifically. You must be able to turn the cheek. You must look at this life like it's a glass half full. You must have a mentality of friendliness. Don't ever forget that. Now, I'm not saying to always turn the other cheek. I'm not saying to ignore the fact when people come in with the negativity and when they do bad things and mean things to you. I'm not saying to ignore that. I'm saying make yourself wiser for the wear and avoid those people altogether. Don't put those people around you and get them out of your life as soon as possible. When you are able to have self-awareness and understand that a mentality of friendliness involves the golden rule, it involves looking at life like it's a glass half full, then you are able to understand who you are and how you look at the things around you. You're gonna start to generate that energy you're gonna to start to generate that beautiful ambiance, that invisible momentum that we're talking about, which is inner game stuff. It's the stuff that you need to focus on before you can ever consider yourself a person of persuasion and influence. Don't never forget that. 
So thank you for watching the video. I hope you were able to pull just a little bit of value. I know that you still have the desire to be more seductive and more friendly and more helpful. And so that's what we've got to talk is about your mentality. What's going on in here is going to make or break you. You may be looking for a job. You may be trying to get a promotion and a raise. You may be looking for the partner in your life and you're thinking to yourself, why am I having such a hard time? Don't worry, I have your back. We're gonna go into some very specific tools and techniques that you need to have in order to be seductive, in order to master the art of seduction.